Okay, so the way I think that this is going to start uh, going down, at least the way I'm planning to hope it starts to go down, is I'm going to record two episodes a night, most nights, so that I'll be ahead. If I keep it up, even a week, I'll be a week ahead. Um, but I won't feel terrible if I can't, you know, record for a day. If I've been going for a little while, it won't matter if um, I get sick again. I'll at least have enough videos uh, piled up. Anyway, last episode, we had a nice uh, successful run with Kane. But uh, this episode, the plan, uh, I'm going to play Eve. Again, I still have to beat Shoal with Eve. So that's the goal of this video. And uh, again, last episode, the success with Kane, it was actually pretty much against all odds. I went into the Isaac fight with a double the max rate of fire, which means that Isaac would shoot back at me pretty much constantly. It's a pretty good watch. You should definitely check it out. And uh, so, so the downfall with Eve mostly is that you have a pretty atrocious damage to start. Of course, if I were to take a half heart of damage now, let's do it. No, let's not. Um, if I were to take a half heart of damage right now, I would uh, enter the curse state, Whore of Babylon, and that would uh, give me a lot of extra damage, some extra speed, make me larger. But uh, I would also be at just a half heart of health, which I'd say is not uh, not ideal. Of course, the first item, pretty bad. Anyway, Eve starts with Whore of Babylon, which I just explained, uh, half red heart lots of damage and stuff, and she starts with a dead bird, which when you get hit, uh, spawns a little familiar that attacks stuff. Telepathy for dummies is a pretty bad item. Why not? Uh, gives you homing tears for a room. I suppose there is no reason not to use it now, even though I could have saved it for the boss. I think it's a two room recharge, so it's, it's almost like having a homing tears just every other room. Yeah. So I have a sun card that is a um, large damage to every enemy in the room, shows the full map, and gives you full health. It's a very good card. So, uh, depending on who I'm fighting, as it turns out it's Famine, it's spawn a fly. Now fly, shoot me. And now I use the sun, get full health, and uh, I have the curse state, but I have all the health I need. So I'm doing enough damage and uh, yet I'm not in danger. Of course that was a very temporary strategy. Only works for this room. But I'd say it was a good choice. I'm not going to save the sun card for the whole game in uh, weight of a good use for it. So we pick up our cube of meat, rotates around us, blocks tears, and um, damages stuff. Uh, I don't have any bombs so I can't go to the secret room that is now revealed thanks to the sun card. Anyway, yeah, block shots, damages enemies, rotates. And uh, we're on to Cellar 2, where I hope to get damage, I hope to get health. Or, uh, you know, I might take a deal with the Devil for the Pact, which would uh, cost both of my red hearts, but it would also put me into the curse state permanently, and t unless I got another health up. And it would also... Um, give me the two red hearts I traded as soul hearts, so I wouldn't be, like, at a terrible loss for health. In fact, I wouldn't be any worse off than I am at this very moment. Uh, yeah, not gonna fight the boss yet. No, I could. I'd rather find the item room. I'd rather find a key and then find the item room. But, uh, hopefully that's not something that will come back and become a problem. Of course, I, uh, <laughs> I'm not really using telepathy for dummies. I don't think it's very good. Let's use it right now. As the trites kill themselves on the uh, mean fire that shoots at me. There's going to be a key drop. No, there's not. Well, uh, I would like to get in there, but... Well, that was unfortunate as well. Okay, now I can get in there. And uh, even though I like to save bombs for uh, tinted rocks usually, soul heart as well as chest which is a chance to get another bomb or a key, and I got a bomb, so it, it was all right. Um, yeah, I think that chance was worth it, so I support my own choice. Vote for me. I'd vote for me. 
Got the trite champion, didn't drop the key that I wanted it to. Jeez, man. Calm down your hops. That's not a key, that is a red heart. So really, uh, desperately looking for a key right now. We've got a few rooms to uh, look for it successfully, hopefully. If not, we'll fight the boss. Well, definitely going to play this and hope for a key drop. Because otherwise, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm is better than telepathy for dummies. Most certainly, it will uh, freeze enemies. I'm pretty sure this is the one that freezes enemies. Allowing you to do some nice damage while they're frozen. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to check for the secret room because there are two likely locations. And uh, let's see who we got as a boss. Widow, that's kind of what I expected. Sorry for that uh, terrible image. Let uh, Cube and me do a little bit of work. And now the dead bird will do a lot of work for me. Because the Widow is uh, very weak. Unfortunately, I took another hit. Um, that was actually a pretty bad fight. But at least it was over quickly, so I didn't have uh, more chances to do that. So, Meat, this is actually a really good pickup. Because even though it says tiers and HP, I'm not sure it gives you a tiers up, but it gives you a damage up as well as the HP up. So uh, that's that's extra nice. Eve, though, has uh, the lowest damage multiplier in the game, 0.75, which means that uh, every damage up will only give her uh, three-fourths as much as it's supposed to. So, uh, you know, a two damage up would only give one and a third or something. No, it's uh, one and a half damage up. And uh, that was pretty bad. Globins do full hearts of damage. So I am once again finding myself in a pretty uncomfortable position with regards to my life. So you're going to see that a few times, and uh, yeah, it sucks to be you and me. But just using it to be uh, safe against some enemies and stuff. Once again, I'm not going to fight the boss until I found the item room. This time I've already found the key. So it's going to go alright. Uh, we got the dead bird again. Hopefully that doesn't become a habit. Alright, we've got Wrath, but fortunately for us, Wrath is uh, pretty likely to uh, toss a bomb and blow up this tinted rock for me. And it was just a key. Of course it was just a key. Not, you know, I don't need the small rock at all. I definitely don't need it. Uh, I also definitely don't need any soul hearts. See, all of these things sound completely useless, and I don't know why anyone would ever want them. But, uh, Wrath Fight, about to end. Oh, almost took damage there, that would have been bad. Got three extra bombs, another extra key, so, I mean, it, it paid off, it was nice. But, uh, Tinted Rock was really not what I needed. Possibly the secret room, but probably not the secret room. Yeah, um, still uh, in search of damage, of course. But uh, and unless I make the huge mistake of going to uh, the cathedral when I need to go to Shoal, we're only looking for a Satan win. And a Satan win isn't that hard. Of course, I'd still need a lot more than I have now. But, um, yeah, like I said, unless I uh, habitually go to the cathedral, I'm going to Shoal, and that's not nearly as bad. Alright, come on, come on. This damage, uh, this damage thing, not, not the best. Hives and flies. Another key, I'll go here because what if it's a good item? Well, it's not. I'll use a bomb. I'll use a bomb. Being pretty liberal with these things. And I found the secret room. And I don't want anything to do with it. Couldn't have just been Epic Fetus again. My last Epic Fetus run was as uh, Eve. That one, well, I beat the cathedral for the first time. You know, that wasn't a nice touch or anything. Uh, Yum Heart. I'll use it once, but... 
really recovers you one heart, recharges in four rooms, I think. Not that useful. It's Maggie's starting item, but yeah, this is definitely uh, Mom's Broad's a better item. Freezing enemies, allowing you to damage them at pretty much no risk is, uh, is a good thing, I'd say. So this is Fistula, pretty easy boss in general, but can be annoying. It's much easier if I had more damage than I have right now, by a lot. Uh, it'll split into four parts, then each one of those four parts will split into two parts. I'll use the um, Mom's Bra somewhere in the middle. Like, how about now? And gee, look, the uh, dead bird doing great work. I'm, I'm a big fan of your work. Would you care to sign this uh, autobiography you wrote? Still, taking a lot of damage due to the fact that my damage is not high enough and such. Almost would have gotten to recover all of it had I not taken that extra hit. Squeezy though, tears up, and two soul hearts. That's a good pickup. I'm done here. And let's get out of here. Out of the line of fire, at least. And uh, this is pretty easy, fighting some clots, which everyone calls gishes, but they're not. Gosh. So Lemon Mishap, actually a terrible item. Does that, which is almost 100% of the time useless against an enemy. It only damages uh, ground-based enemies. I thought I had dodged that, unfortunately I didn't. Um, it only damage ground-based enemies, and uh, I mean it's pretty impossible to place effectively. It's just an essentially useless item. So uh, yeah, this run is not going well. Really bad item room luck, and uh, really just not the items that I need as Eve. So I, I guess I'm in an Eve rut. Which, uh, it's bound to end. If I do enough Eve runs, I'm going to get a good one. When I was uh, going for Platinum God without making videos, I would just uh, pick a character one session and I would just play them until I got a good run. It would only take a few runs usually. So, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but in a Let's Play, it's a little different. I could do, like, 12 videos in a row. Not 12, but, like, 3, 4 videos in a row of one character, but I think it's, it's more entertaining to mix it up, even if that possibly means it takes a lot longer to beat everything with everyone, just due to the fact that uh, your good runs are mixed up with the uh, characters that you're not staying consistent with. So you might have uh, all of your bad runs on a character, like, as you switch to them, like I have been with Eve. Devil doubles your damage for the current room. Good pickup. Especially for Eve, but still, two red hearts left. Not enough damage. I'm in a bad place. Next video, I'll be doing Samson, so uh, <laughs> this is going to be like a repeat performance. Or, well, that will be a repeat performance of this. Whether I like it or not. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a good time to use uh, Mom's Bra because these are some annoying enemies. And uh, I, I don't have enough. Let's kill the champion. I could die. Unless I pick up that health. Life saving. <laughs> Delicious health. Uh, I do have enough money to go to the shop, which is what I'm looking for at this very moment. I thought I was looking for the item room for a second, and then I was like, no, I'm not. I've been there. It was useless. Which is unfortunately what's happened twice in a row, and that that's awful. That is just not what you can afford in such a run as this. So if you cleverly position yourself, um, even though those flies, the eternal flies, take like five hits to kill, the cube meat will do it in one hit. So, uh, careful positioning. Not a small rock again. I appreciate the soul hearts, but I would have appreciated uh, getting two instead of one. Still, the game has not been very generous with soul hearts as of uh, late, which seems to be my uh, temporary catchphrase, as of late, you see. 
Uh, this, this floor is just never ending. I don't know why. Oh goodness, my damage is just so bad. Well, mistimed everything. Uh, I'm trying to use the cube of meat to my advantage. I mean, for the most part, it's kind of working. Strength will be a damage up and uh, health recovery, pretty much. I'll use it now. So if I don't take damage here, uh, I will come out ahead. I will come out with uh, full health. No, you jerk. That's not what I need. Whatever. Shop. Steam sale. Mm, yes. Uh, no, but... I think the soul heart's more important right now. I'll go back for the double card after this room. After the next room... No, after this room is where I'm... But I am going to go... Ha uh, I'm going to go back to complete that uh, un unvisited room. And whatever paths uh, follow from, from there. So we got the devil again. I'll use that on the boss. Who will hopefully either uh, give me a deal with the devil... Wow. Wow! Impatience killing me. Um, either give me a deal with the devil or a damage up. Pentagram. Don't see it often anymore. But, uh, it's quite. Oh, God. Super Envy. Much like Fistula. We'll split into three parts, and each of those three parts will split into three parts, and they'll tell two friends. And, uh, it, it just. Y you have a huge mess to clean up. Had a. Rager at your house while your parents were gone, and it's just, it's everywhere. And no one's gonna help you. You gotta do it all yourself. I don't know why that only split into two. Anyway, enough of that story. I don't have any experience in such a thing. Eh, to be totally real. But, uh, oh, that was close. If you just focus on eliminating one set of them at a time. So you just focus on a big one, and then all of the little ones from there, and then all of the little ones from the first little one, all of the little ones from the second little one. Just don't don't get too many things on your plate at once. I don't know why some of these only split into two, but I am totally okay with it. So I'm losing a ton of health. I could die to Super Envy. At this point in the video, I would do another run, I guess. Even though that, that ends up with me talking for like two hours straight due to recording. Hopefully, like I said, two videos a day for a while. So, uh, I'll quickly end up extremely far ahead and it'll be great. Except when you guys decide to give me some advice that I can't follow for like two weeks your time and I follow immediately my time. <laughs> So uh, hopefully you won't get frustrated with me about that. Two chests, one half a heart, and one attack fly. And some bombs. So uh, don't have much health, but uh, we got the devil, we got mom's bra, we got attack flies and cube of meat. We got patience for this room. And uh, we, we got whatever boss. I'm expecting something awful, to be honest. And it's not even slightly awful. In fact, this is great. This will give us a second cube of meat, which will uh, shoot along with us while uh, maintaining the uh, layer of protection. And that is how you use the attack fly, by the way. Best with the blue one, of course. So, uh, having a little extra firepower is uh, definitely, definitely something I need. I would have preferred a personal damage up, but, you know, cube of meat is actually, or second level cube of meat is actually a pretty good familiar. Has everything you could like in a, in a familiar, let's be honest. It blocks shots. One of the, uh, well, it's the only shooting thing that does that. And it, it shoots red tears, which might or might not be more powerful than uh, the normal blue tears. Like, Sister Maggie is stronger than Brother Bobby, for example. Because Sister Maggie shoots red tears, which are confirmed to be stronger tears than just uh, Brother Bobby's. Alright, so we're looking for the item room, as usual. You know, 
apply standard procedure. I'll have the usual. As usual. Uh, but still, we don't have much health at all. Lovers. Death. Okay, that'll uh, do a lot of damage to uh, all the enemies in the room. Note I'm avoiding my uh, totally catchphrase of significantly damaging every enemy in the room. So, uh, our secret room is not, or our item room, not what I was hoping for. Ten bombs. I mean, it's useful for once, but it's not helpful. Let's see what we got in this library. The Necronomicon. I wonder if this game wants me to take the Necronomicon. Uh, do I think that's more valuable? No. So I'll use it in case we come across another library we won't run into the Necronomicon again. But I will keep this freezing enemies, allowing me to do my own damage. Seems, you know, more what I want right now. And we have death, which is a one-time use of the Necronomicon. So, you know, it's alright. Uh, can I do anything about this? I'm gonna try it. Alright, it was worth a shot. I got the scent that I wanted, and I had a chance to get the bomb. So, you know, I don't mind not actually succeeding. I don't know if it's possible. It probably is, but... You know, it's not something I've ever tried before. So we found our shop, which we uh, most certainly can and will visit. And since I only have 15 cents flat, ideally I will not run into greed. But note I say ideally. Got another bomb. Got a treasure map. I'd rather have the soul heart again. May as well take the key. Don't need the bomb. As I've been saying for the past few videos, I'm kind of uh, finding myself drifting away from uh, my uh, preference towards the uh, treasure map. If I have the compass, I'll pick it up, but alone, it's not actually that valuable to me. Like, it's really only true period of uh, valuable valuability. I don't know if that's actually a word. But the only time when it's particularly useful is on an XL floor, because on an XL floor you can immediately tell where the uh, boss room is just by looking at a, even an unlabeled map. So that is when it's useful. Other than that, not so much. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'm really looking for anything I can get right now. Range up, not really what I was looking for. <laughs> but, uh, it'll do. It, it doesn't hurt. It means I can keep my distance to hopefully stay safer from enemies. And uh, why not fight the boss now? Champion Monster 2. Okay, okay. Let's get let's get in a loop here. All right. So now we uh, we got the game. And, uh, it's working out. I'm quite nearly dead. Could, in fact, die from, uh, one hit. It's for certain hits. Please, please, please. Alright, die, die, die now, die. Almost died there. Uh, so we're gonna get health, health up, and an eternal heart, which will become a health up when I, uh, pick it up and leave the floor. So we get a soul heart. But really what I need is damage. I need damage very desperately at the, at the moment. Still, two health ups is quite nice. Assuming I don't die in exploring these last few rooms. Which sh I shouldn't. We find the secret room in which is contained enough money to go buy the treasure map. Why not? Since I got all this cash, I will accept your uh, most gracious offer. It does reveal the secret room, so that's a good, good thing. And as it turns out, there are only two rooms left, and they are the two rooms that I could already see. Which is fine, I'll still go. Gluttony could give us a health up and full health. Which uh, is something I uh, would like. Health up and full health. See that? 
So, uh, good thing I visited these rooms. That means uh, we will end up with six red hearts at the end of this floor. Well, at the start of the next floor. And, you know, I feel pretty good about that. also got a soul heart, which uh, I promptly lost half of. It's alright, though. Still came out ahead. Don't really need those uh, hearts there. Or those coins. They're not hearts. What am I on? Nothing, in fact. It's only 10.48 and I'm on my second video? That's crazy. I'm never that proactive. Usually it's three hours from now when I start recording. But, maybe it shows my gameplay? I've been, uh... As, actually, as usual. I've been, uh... Doing the most I can with the least possible. It seems to be a recurring theme where I just am thrown nothing and have to make do. So I will visit this beggar, and uh, even if he doesn't pay out in these first three cents, I'm quite likely to get more uh, cent drops as the floor continues. Maybe there's a lot of money in this uh, secret room here. So, most important is those guys. Oh, I totally could have used Mom's Bra against Monstro too. The champion. Whoops. Um, anyway, maybe there's a lot of money here in this secret room, or maybe there's Epic Fetus, in which case, uh, I'm set. But I expected lots of money. It's not lots, but it's enough. Go back to the beggar, see what he wants to give me. Hopefully the candle. Candle would be exactly what I wanted to see. Book of Revelations might be alright, but I don't know. 9 volt. That recharges our item, even though it was fully charged, so it did nothing there. But, um, recharges our item, and every time we use our item, it will have two bars of charge automatically. So, basically, um, the Mom's Bra here will become a two room recharge rather than a three room recharge because upon completing our first room, we'll have four bars rather than just two. So, you know, 9 volt. Definitely a good pickup. Works uh, better in conjunction with some things like the nail or the Book of Revelations. I would certainly take the nail at this very moment. Since it's so generous, I'll take this too. And that was definitely worth it. So as I often say, I don't play EVE the way a lot of other people do. A lot of other people will focus pretty much solely on getting into the cursed state and staying there so that they can uh, up their damage, which is a totally viable strategy. Um, to, I wouldn't be in my situation if that's how I were focusing, if I had had the ability to focus on that. But I don't go for that, I just go with whatever the uh, game deals me. And a lot of the time it works out anyway. Though of course, if I could get Guppy's Paw right now, I would most certainly trade all of my red hearts for soul hearts. In a heartbeat. Because then I would be in the cursed state. I'd have 20 hearts at this very moment if I did that. But uh, I'll probably have lost some. Not that I'm even guaranteed to run into Guppy's Paw or anything. So currently, as usual, looking for the item room. First and foremost. This is Depths 2, so it's the last item room in the game. And we'll fight Mom. Which means... We won't be able to leave the boss room once we complete it, and if we did earn a deal with the devil, we would not be able to access it because the uh, all doors in the room will disappear. Unless we uh, teleport, then they will come back, and uh, if we teleport, we can also get to the uh, devil or angel room, should either exist. And I might be able to get it. I haven't taken much damage on the depths here. Uh, chance to kill two. Killed one. That was what I wanted to see. And now the dead bird can handle that one. <sighs> so we find our boss room. That's, you know, pretty typical. Uh, so I know where the item room is. And that's where we'll head. And now a lot of people, I don't have enough health, but um, 
I don't think most other people would, but given more health situ a better health situation like soul heart wise, they would play the blood bank down to half a heart so that they would get the curse state and uh, it'd be great. They'd have fun tons of damage and uh, not actually, she doesn't get that much damage from entering the curse state at base damage or base damage plus one. But anyway, and you know, they'd feel lots better about themselves. Not my strategy. But, you know, it, it either works out or it doesn't. Chub gonna be a slow fight. Okay. Fine. And now it goes a lot quicker. Now we just simply kill the chargers. And our item is scapular. Great. But what this does mean... I'm, I'm about to possibly ruin my run, but I actually think it'll work fine. Uh, is I'm going to get a blood bag. Or probably knowing my luck an IV bag, and then I'll be uh, really upset because I won't be able to recover all the health I lose. Still, uh, living my life on the edge. Got one heart laying around. And, uh, that'll, you know, whatever. With, um, great risk, possibly come great rewards. So you'll all see what I'm saying about this here scapular business. I'll just play this down to a half heart. And I'll go to the shop because I can. Although I'll run into greed because I'm going to pick up like all of this money rather than doing the smart thing going in now, picking up this money after it's not greed. Alright, so why didn't we get scapular? Well then, didn't pay off. Gonna go pick up this here red heart and probably die. But we'll see if uh, the shop is miraculously not greed. And uh, then we'll see what happens. Oh look, it's greed. So even though I should have saved that for m mom, not a huge deal. Uh, thanks, too little too late. Um, yeah, whatever. Should have saved it for mom, but didn't. Pretty much guaranteed to die now, but uh, I don't actually care that much. This was a one of those runs where you're just stuck with no damage and sucks. So why don't I just go in with half of a red heart? Let's do it. I was really hoping that would pay off. So, uh, we're almost guaranteed death here. Unless... Alright. Priority one. Soul heart. Alright, now we got a chance. Still, this is not the situation in which I'd like to be. But I think we can make it work at least. Like I always say, um, fight is uh, one of the easiest bosses in the game. Unfortunately, I took a hit there. Still, I will get uh, another soul heart when I get hit there. Thanks to Scapular, alright, I'm gonna die. So, uh, this is kind of the uh, counter example to my uh, previous Risk vs. Reward video. Not that this is gonna be called Risk vs. Reward Part 2. But uh, I'd say this is the uh, distinct counterexample. This is still doable, though. Still 100% doable. Unless I do that. <laughs> but, you know, uh, my own fault. I thought something would work out and it didn't. But still, it's a long enough video. It's. 
god awful with all that damage that I didn't get. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.